Independent Film Awards 2017 with your host, Teray Gordon and Alice Wells, the Leonard Hearn Community Service Award. Hello, uh, I'm really excited, all you ladies and gentlemen, gentle ladies and gentlemen, and all you fine fellas. I think y'all could do better than that. Hello, party people. How y'all doing tonight? <laughs> Welcome to the second annual Philadelphia Independent Film Awards. I'm one of your hosts. My name is Chure. You can give it to him, give it to him. I'll wait. Yeah. My name is Alice Wills, but you can call me Allie for tonight because we're close now. Yeah. <laughs> Party people, uh, we dress very well. We are, uh, some of us. Um, I understand you can't get your layaway out all at the same time, but. Don't let the well-dressed fool you. We're going to have a good time tonight. So I need y'all to loosen up, get ready to enjoy a night of amazing and fun-filled night. Plenty of talent is in the building, and we're going to honor some of the best independent filmmakers in Philadelphia and for this film festival. some sensational film, but some amazing music from the John Martin Project. Give him a round of applause for what you already got. That was free. That stuff up front was free. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to get this evening started here to present a citation from the city of Philadelphia, Councilman David O. Thank you very much. It's uh, my pleasure to be here. Um, to present a city council citation to the founder of this uh, wonderful event, uh, Floyd Marshall Jr. All right. Uh, for those who don't know, I chair a committee in Philadelphia for city council. It's a committee on global opportunities and the creative innovative economy. That includes the arts economy. And so you know why you're here, and we so much uh, appreciate your work, your effort, and this opportunity to be recognized, because it's so important in your industry to be recognized, and it helps our city. Um, you know, there's a lot of reasons for this recognition, but let me say, as a councilman, I appreciate the jobs I appreciate people getting paid, and I pre appreciate the opportunity. Well, am I on? All right, okay. So I appreciate all of those things, but, but more importantly, above that is the opportunity for you to tell your story in whichever way you do it. And that brings people closer together. And I think that is just the beautiful thing about this art. So um, let me present this citation. It is a city council citation honoring the Philadelphia Independent Film Awards. 
the Council of the City of Philadelphia takes great pleasure in recognizing the Independent Film Association of Philadelphia for hosting the second annual Philadelphia Independent Film Awards, whereas the Philadelphia Independent Film Awards is an event dedicated to showcase independent films in Philadelphia and bring awareness to their cause, with their slogan being, first in freedom, first in independence, first in honoring independent filmmakers. And whereas the second annual Philadelphia Independent Film Awards will take place on May 7, 2017 at the International House Philadelphia, and whereas aspiring independent filmmakers, producers, and students from the tri-state area submitted their films in multiple categories, the categories are feature films, documentaries, short films, short narrative films, and student films. And whereas the Philadelphia Independent Film Awards will select winners in 15 categories, best picture, best documentary, best foreign film, best short film, best student film, best male actor, best female actor, best supporting male actor, best supporting female actor, best director, best cinematographer, best score, best web series, tri-state breakout film, and best written screenplay. And whereas the Independent Film Association of Philadelphia is an organization whose mission is to open up the world of film to all ages as an alternative avenue of education. And the Independent Film Association of Philadelphia partners with organizations to help children with everyday life struggles and situations through philanthropic and charitable contributions. And whereas the Independent Film Association of Philadelphia and the Philadelphia Independent Film Awards Gala were, were both founded by Floyd, Floyd Marshall Jr., a Philadelphia native who is also a screenwriter and producer. Therefore, by virtue of this citation, the Council of the City of Philadelphia does hereby recognize the Independent Film Association of Philadelphia for hosting the second annual Philadelphia Independent Film Awards. We in this council extend the sincere respect and admiration of this legislative body. Congratulations. Please join me. he said really stuck out to me and I understand as an artist uh, and as an actor being recognized but being paid no I'm kidding yeah. <laughs> being paid within 90 days there we go speaking of which Floyd you want to <clears throat> come back up here and give me uh... anyway uh... <laughs> uh, we got to let more people more people coming in we appreciate you uh, I apparently you didn't care what time we started the show um, <laughs> Thank you for making it here whenever you felt like it was. <laughs> I could tell by the way some of you dressed that uh, you didn't go on your prom. Um, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We'll do it tonight. We'll, hopefully you got a corsage. And <laughs> here to present best screenplay, please welcome Kaisha Woods and Nakia Dillard. First, have to clarify it's Kaisha Woods. I'm sorry, but he's been doing that for years. I, I really do know that guy. <laughs> oh man, I'm so grateful to be here tonight. How's everybody feeling? Good, good. Oh man, just here with this with such a beautiful woman, <laughs> looking great. And you look Devadair. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so this is a little nostalgic. Last year we were up for a community with Leonard Sheard Community Award. Right. Right. And of course this superstar won. But being in this company always make me feel like I'm a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go for best screenplay is hold nominee. Up, oh. Best screenplay. And the nominees are. Michaela Daniels, Escape the Midnight Sun. Tamajin Ali, ex king Alonza Crawford, Alonza Crawford. Peter Ayanga, Absconda. David Prichetto, 212 Delta. That's 
some competition there. All right. So. So let's see. The winner is. What is this? Let's see here. But there we go. Here we go. <laughs> Best screenplay is Delta by David Percato. 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 <laughs> Uh, I'll be accepting this award on his behalf at Philadelphia Independent Film Awards. Give it up for David Bruschetto. About a round of applause for best screenplay. Can we get the theater, the uh, house lights down once back again in the theater mode? Get the, the house lights back up. There you go. There you go. Allie? All right. As an actress, I remember my start uh, doing student films. Uh, everything seemed so nervous and so exciting in the very beginning and always is still exciting but uh, student films you're not getting paid so anyone that's doing student films uh, kudos to you not only for sticking it out uh, enjoying yourself and putting your best foot forward without any monetary value or uh, eating <laughs> <laughs> so the nominees for best student film that is next Please, here to present the award for Best Student Film, please welcome Jabez Griggs and Naya Jolie. What is up, Philadelphia? My name is Naya Jolie Walters. I'm only 12 years old, and I'm just one of the many presenters here today. What are you doing here? Whoa. I'm Jabez Griggs. I'm 13 years old. <laughs> I'm an actor slash talk show host, better known as Michael Lofton from Jason's Letter, which premieres June 11th um, at Swiss <laughs> Theater in Dover, Delaware. <clears throat> and today, me and Naya Jolie will be presenting the Students Film Award. Uh, Philadelphia Independent Film Awards, Floyd Marshall and the entire team, thank you so much. I'm honored. This is my first award ever as a director yeah. and filmmaker <laughs> ever. <laughs> so I am, um, I'm all the way from Los Angeles, so this is huge. So <sighs> thank you all. Enjoy the night. I'm so blessed to be here. And congrats to all the other filmmakers in my category and all tonight as well. Thank you. Wow. Another round of applause for Best Student Film. You said that's your first award, girl? You are so calm and composed. That was my first award. They'd have known it. <laughs> I pulled out that sheet I want to thank the academy and party people I got to give away one of these giveaways the young ladies the young, my, my lovely young spokesmodels in the back pulled me to the side like we ain't wear these shoes and dress for nothing so we're going to do it like this who has the furthest out of town 
driver's license. You cannot be a nominee to win. What we got? We got Houston, Texas? What you got, sweetheart? We got any New York in the house? Anybody from New York? Anybody? That's where I came from. New York? Cal- oh, Cali? We got Cali? Can you get further away from Philadelphia than Cali? No. Come get this back. Come get this gift, yeah. Can you get- yeah, you, yeah, Delaware is a whole nother world. <laughs> Young lady, if you would go that way to the stage, one of the lovely, one of these lovely young ladies will give you one of the, that gift basket from Jess, is it, was it Jess Wine? Got Wine. Oh, she got a nice dress on. That's what's up. That's the type, that's the type dress you drink wine in. That's, that's nice. Gift basket courtesy of Got Wine. Clap it up. All right. International House, we can get the lights back to theater level. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. That does have my name on it. Excuse me. Ha! <laughs> I told you it was an open bar, right? Okay. All right. Here to present best documentary, please welcome Trisha Graybill and Karen Martin. Hi, Karen. Good evening. Oh, Hello, everybody. You look beautiful. If you can only see what we see from this position. And Give is... yourselves a hand of applause for coming out tonight looking so fabulous. And it's great to see you. I haven't seen you since the set of Compromise. Oh, yes. The set of Compromise was such a wonderful short film that Floyd Marshall himself wrote and Angelique directed. So if you haven't seen Compromise, look it up. Compromised. Okay, well, Uh, enough about us. Yes. We can get to the nominees for the Best Documentary. Absolutely. And the nominees are? Best Documentary. And the nominees are? Dancing with all Hope. The history, the city has. Brood in the 210. There was nothing. There was no. I live on the south. The side. Chicago the mixed I think the problem is the narrative. Is all the voices. Yeah. I have to run away. Sometimes I have to And the winner is. Best documentary goes to. Yeah. It will open. There we go. Voices, Voices. from Call Thali. Go, Martha. Come on up and get your award. I hope I pronounced we pronounced that right. You were stuck with that. She left me hanging trying to pronounce it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a full theater. Here, Some I'm of these sorry. nominees are coming from the top. Please show them love all the way to the stage. Wonderful, Martha. Congratulations. Wow, what an honor. Um, Floyd and the team, thank you so much. Uh, what an amazing festival. Uh, And um, it's just, it's an honor uh, to represent the Karen people and hope that their voices are heard. So thank you very much. Hola, bienvenidos. ¿Cómo está usted? ¿Ustedes? Spanish too? Si, yo puedo cuando necesito. Es muy útil. Especialmente en Philadelphia. Pero guten tag? Anybody? Anybody? (laughs) Even if they did, it's a Trump era. They're not going to let you know. (laughs) Everybody try to get deported? My sister lives in Germany, it's amazing. So with that being said, I would like to bring you the people that will present uh, the next foreign film. I love foreign film. I was watching Asian film today, and it's amazing because these actors do so much. uh, In physical fitness, doing splits in the air, wild things. 
and they don't get recognized for it. Film is, in, is like 3% Asian, so we have to give it out for everybody in the film industry. Yeah. yeah. So next up to bring you the best foreign film is Mr. Jordan Borden and Vernaya Simone. How's everybody doing tonight? Come on, y'all can do better than that. Come on, come on. All right, all right. Everybody who doesn't know me, my name's Jordan Borden. Hi, I'm Renea Simone. And it's good to be here tonight, right? Yes, it's really good to be here. It's real good. <laughs> all right, let's get right along. So the nominees for best foreign film are... Y'all really did a category. Uh, Jordan, take a guess at who won. Hey, I, I don't know. It's a, I, yo, it's a t this was tight. I, it's, man, it's it could have been so many. It's a tough one. It's a toss up. Yeah. Woo. Sheesh. You got that. So many options. Yeah. Let's see here. All right. And the winner for best foreign film. I told y'all it was a close one. Close. Booty by Sarah <laughs> Riyadh. Come on, let's give it up. I came up, uh, I came up to get this booty. <laughs> I had to, I had to. Floyd, there, you had to get the booty? Yeah, I came to get the booty, I had to get the booty. You had to get the booty. I had to do it. There's a story behind this category. Uh, there were actually five selections. And to every filmmaker in the building, the one thing that you need to keep in mind is that you need to be professional. Because if you're doing a film, if you're submitting a film, uh, anything in the entertainment industry or any walk of life, if someone emails you and tells you you've been selected and you don't respond, you get X'd out. The only person that responded and did what they were supposed to do was Sarah Riot. So this goes to her. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I do one of the giveaways, Allie Willis. I'm kind of still stuck in February, to be honest with you. I'm, uh, I live in Brooklyn, so I'm in this bubble where the whole presidential election didn't happen yet. So to be honest with you, let's pretend that didn't happen yet. January, February. Okay, so maybe it did happen. But if anyone can name the seven black actors that won Oscars, you win uh, this next prize. Anybody? The first scarf. I'm a vegan, so I'm against it, but anybody else that wants it, it's for you. So can anyone name the seven black actors that have won Academy Awards? For what category? For best, for best actor. Not supporting, but best actor. Anybody. I see you waving. Come forward. You have competition. Come up, come up, come up. Have confidence. Come on. Here we go. I'm, wait, 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 wait. I'm getting corrected. So we ha does anyone have competition here? Anybody? What's your name? What's your name? Carlo Campbell. Carlo Campbell. Wait, wait, wait. Before he, before he corrects me, is anybody else going to contend against him? Anybody? Because I don't like being contended against. I'm extremely competitive. So anybody else? Someone defend my honor. Anybody? Go ahead. We wrap that up. Oh, here we go. Here comes someone. Oh, and it's a lady in a blue dress. All right. Am I saying Go ahead. Wait, what's your name? So we have Sid, just Sid, she's that cool. And we have Carlo Campbell, and they're gonna correct me and tell me the actors, the black actors that have won for best actor. Best actor or actors who have won? Best the best actor. actor. 
So if he can name both, do both. All right. There's Louis Gossett Jr., there's Hattie McDaniels, there is Denzel Washington, there's Lupita Nyong'o, there is the sister from the help. Uh, 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 Octavia, Octavia, Octavia Spencer. There is Viola Davis. There is supporting. Best black. You know, you know what I got? I got. You know what I got? I got a giveaway for both of y'all, and I got a show to keep going. So. No, we're going, you know what, I'm going to get you, let you spit yours in one moment. But we do got to wrap this up because I got giveaways for both of y'all, but what do you got? And it's not on, so. Which category? Best actor, black actor. Black person won best actor. Okay, um, Sydney Poitier. Poitier. Um, Denzel Washington. Oh, Jesus. You just named them. Um, I named them too. Go, go ahead. Um, let me see who else. Okay, so like I said, I have giveaways for both of y'all. It's not going to be that fur. I got two Soul Comedy t-shirts coming right to your chair. Go have a seat so we can get this show over with. Thank y'all. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Kudos for her for even getting up and for Carlo. So give them a round of applause for getting up and having the confidence and knowing it. All right. We got this going on right here. The nominees here to present. Y'all like music? What uh, what movie you think had the best soundtrack? Center City. No, no, not <laughs> not me overall. I don't mean night in here. B Street was good. New Jack City. Boomerang. Love Jones. She's gotta have it. Had a good soundtrack. So did Jungle Fever. Shaft, and that brings us to our next award. Here to present the award for best score, please welcome Billy Vargas and Mercedes Simmons. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we need more love than that here tonight. Billy Vargas and Mercedes Simmons. Good evening. I just want to give everybody cool points, because y'all look good tonight. Yeah, give yourselves a round of applause. But what else makes a movie good is the score, the music, right? You know, um, and yes, I am Billy V. I used to be on Fox TV. Now I'm an actor, if anybody wants to hire me. Um, <laughs> But before, when we were out front, I walked up to this woman. I told her, you are so beautiful. I had no idea that I was going to be presenting with her. I didn't know who she was. But I just saw a beautiful woman and had to tell her. Thank you. Thank you. So what was the question you asked me? I don't even know. I was just too busy looking at you. Representing I didn't hear what you said. nominees. Oh. Nominees for best score. Yes. Though. Here are the nominees for best score. The winner is. You want to read that? The winner for best score is Boston to Philly, Ralph Sellison. <laughs>
Good evening, everyone. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Philadelphia Independent Awards, Floyd. Thank you for acknowledging Boston to Philly. Uh, I just wanted to say that, one, it was a pleasure to do the film, and the soundtrack really did enhance that experience for us. And on behalf of Ralph Celestine, who is the producer, director, also played Boston, he handpicked everyone, the entire soundtrack, every artist is someone he met in person. He is from Boston, moved to Philly, and throughout his journey in exploring our beautiful city, he met these artists and shook hands with them and put them in the film. <laughs> yeah, on behalf of Ralph, Ralph and everyone out there, Center City also had a fine score. Thank you. Yes. But we accept this on Ralph's absence. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for another fantastic selection by the John Martin Project. Show them some love.
still with us? Yeah, I know, it's, it's getting about that nap time. Yeah. <laughs> People that didn't have a nap know, yeah, you're wondering how many more awards we got. <laughs> we got a few, we got a few. Uh, here to give a citation from State Representative Jean DeGuralamo, got it, is a good friend of mine and a fantastic police officer here in the Philadelphia area. Give it up for Jonathan Josie. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. I'm sorry, I called you a police officer. You are actually uh, Captain Major Crimes Unit. Well, Lieutenant still. But Lieutenant, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. The major did, crimes unit. Didn't mean to disrespect your rank, sir. Did <laughs> to Ray and I go back to college together. We didn't go to college too much. We spent probably more time. <laughs> Uh, you guys having a good time tonight? Y'all could come way better than that. Are you having a good time tonight? It's uh, truly an honor to uh, be here on the stage to present this uh, citation on behalf of State Representative uh, DJ Alamo um, to Floyd and Angelique and the rest of the staff that put this thing together. So somebody come up here. Keon, Leek, Floyd. I'm not Italian, y'all probably figured out that I wasn't the state representative when I walked up here, so. I might have been from Sicily or something, y'all ain't got All right, this reads from uh, State Representative uh, D. Girolamo from the House of Representative Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Certificate of Appreciation presented to the Independent Film Association of Philadelphia. When Winston Churchill was asked to cut arts funding in favor of the war effort, he simply replied, then what are we fighting for? As State Representative of the 18th Legislative District, it is my honor and privilege to support the reward and recognition of groundbreaking film projects on this, the second annual award ceremony. We are grateful for your efforts to celebrate the beauty and innovation that is independent film and share these creative contributions in our community. Signed, the Honorable State Representative Dean D. Gerolamo, State Representative 18th Legislative District. <laughs> it's De Girolamo. That's what I said. Yeah, it's right. I said that. I went to the temple. I got that. <laughs> but uh, I'd just like to say something on behalf of the entire Independent Film Association of Philadelphia team. Uh, these recognitions just shows the absolute dedication and hard work that the entire team puts in. Boy, did they get on my nerves this past year. But, you know, this is just the uh, recognition that goes into independent filmmaking, and, and this is one of the reasons that we're here. You know, this is just a small part of honoring all of you. And, you know, it, it's just an honor and a privilege, and I'm extremely humbled that all of you are uh, taking your time and spending your evening with us. Thank you so much for being here. <clears throat> Floyd got on our nerves too. You got on our nerves too. Um, just wanted to let you know it was mutual. <laughs> like, I had to hit Floyd up on Facebook. Like, yo, you tripping? I did. It was. It was too. It was. It was just about too many Trump posts. I said, Floyd, like you. You got a show to promote. You can't keep posting <laughs> all this anti-Trump rhetoric. I don't want you to get killed on the way to the... 
Trump's not playing with y'all, man. I've been working on my slave voice. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. You better, you better humble yourself. Got me a nice little handkerchief I could ball up in my hand. No, sir. I ain't seen them, sir. You better come on in. Four years, you want to live? I got too much of that Obama. You got to get back, get back to the good days. You don't look these white folk in their eyes like that. <laughs> Before anything, though, we have to thank Floyd. Like, this is amazing. Look at all of you fine people out here tonight. Give him a round of applause. Not only to get this together, but to make it happen, to execute it so flawlessly in Philadelphia tonight in the Independent Film Awards with the John Martin Project, all of you paid for your tickets, came out. So give Floyd one more round of applause, please. Truly, truly, we joke, we laugh, but these guys, they worked hard, diligently, and, and hard, uh, uh, tirelessly to make sure that you guys had a great, great uh, second Annual Independent Philadelphia, Philadelphia Independent Film Awards. With that being said, we are now going to introduce your Community Service Award. The Leonard Hearn Community Service Award. And the nominees are Terry Matthews, founder of James House. Nehemiah Davis, the Nehemiah Davis Foundation. The Eats Cafe. Good evening. We are here tonight to present this Community Service Award. Most of you may know that service is one of the greatest things you can give to your fellow man. We equate service with love. The Leonard Hurd Community Service Award is centered around community and giving back. The award was created to recognize those who are selfless in their giving to others, whether it is to be their time or whether it is to be their resources. This year's awards nominee exemplify all that we've spoken about here this evening. And the nominees are. The first nominee is Ms. Terry. The Leonard Hurd Community Service And the nominees are. Terry Matthews, founder of James House, who generously and courageously, along with her business savvy and unbound joy, is known from coast to coast. As the founder of the autism focused nonprofit Jaden's Voice, named after her son, who was diagnosed at age three, she delivers a message of hope and perseverance to parents and caretakers. Terry personally funded the organization to ensure each family that comes to Jaden's Voice has access to the tools to help their children lead productive and fulfilling lives. Committed to promoting autism awareness, Terry works within the public and private sectors of the variety of share takers and shareholders to influence policy and culture. In addition to her work, Within the nonprofit arena, Terry uses her many years of experience in business and human resources to help people turn their dreams into reality. She has presented keynote addresses to audiences from 7 to 7,000 around the country. Terry is the proud mother of three beautiful children. Okay. Let's give her a hand. That's right. The Eat Cafe. Everyone at the Table Cafe is a nonprofit, pay what you can cafe that nourishes, educates, and unites community in a welcoming environment. At Eat Cafe, we believe that everyone has a right to access healthy, hearty food with dignity. In Philadelphia, Nearly one in four people are food insecure. We address food insecurity 
by providing nutritious, high-quality meals to all who walk through the door. E-Cafe is located at 3820 Lancaster Avenue in West Philadelphia. As a community-based cafe, the Eat Cafe provides a welcoming space to nourish the community through good food and fellowship. Let's hear it for the Eat Cafe. Our third nominee, last but definitely not least, Mr. Nehemiah Davis is an award-winning author, entrepreneur, and philanthropist born and raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. At just 29 years of age, he has accomplished to date, exemplifies the defiance of all odds that were stacked against him since birth. His father has been in prison for committing murder since Nehemiah was just two years old. He was raised in a tough world by his mother and grandmother. He endured several challenges, which include being kicked out of high school, kicked out of college, and fired from 10 jobs. However, at the age of 21, his life changed for the better, and his decision to take action resulted in his starting his first business and has dedicated his life to serving others through the Nehemiah Davis Foundation, which was started in 2007 by Nehemiah and his mother. To date, the organization has served over 40,000 homeless citizens, senior citizens, and youth around the world. In addition to traveling to 41 countries, being awarded and recognized around the world, Nehemiah's most recent accomplishments include receiving the Steve Harvey Good Neighbor Award of 2016, and he's also received the President's Volunteer Service Awarded at the White House. Nehemiah also co-founded a movement to help get 60,000 bottles of water to the citizens of Flint, Michigan during their urgent water crisis. The Nehemiah Davis, it goes on and on, honey, but and this young man has accomplished much. The Nehemiah Davis Foundation feeds the homeless weekly and facilitates eight annual events spanning from back-to-back -back school events, a Thanksgiving and Christmas event, all designed in the spirit of supporting those in need. As an author of three books, Nehemiah has recently started his own publishing company to help others, upcoming authors, reach their goals and publish their work. Lastly, Earlier this year, Nehemiah opened the community center in his neighborhood, which serves several free programs for the youth, including a writing workshop, guitar lessons, sewing lessons, and vocal lessons. Nehemiah's mission is to help other people become the best they can be through his tireless philanthropic and entrepreneurship work. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Nehemiah Davis of the Nehemiah Davis Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen. We don't know. We don't know. And the winner is of the Leonard Hurd Community Service Award, Mr. Nehemiah Davis of the Nehemiah Davis Foundation. Thank you. I was tearing it up, trying to get it out. Before I sit down, I'd like to recognize Nakia Dillard, who was the first winner of the Leonard Hurd Community Service Award. He's here tonight as well. Uh, Nehemiah is not here with us, uh, with us today. I'll accept this award on his behalf. Thank you. There's, there's pretty much no way Nehemiah could have been here. He'd do too much. Like, he's busy. <laughs> Did you hear his rundown? I was in the back like, I'm really wasting my life. <laughs> 
Like, you get kicked out of school? How you get kicked out of elementary school, high school, and college? Like, how'd you get in to college? But then got fired from 10 jobs. Got fired from 10 jobs? When did you have 10 jobs? <laughs> that brother's something. Black man kept getting, he got an 11th job. That's the part that kills me. He kept getting fired. Like, what you say on the application after the fifth firing? Like, <laughs> it was them? No. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please, another round of applause for the Leonard Hurd Community Service Award. Please show your love once more time for Nehemiah Davis and the Nehemiah Davis Foundation. Allie, go to work, babe. All right. So to present for you the nominees for the web series, the best picture web series, are Guy Wellman and Miss Tiffany Green. Everybody, I'm Tiffany E. Green. Hi, I'm Guy Wellman. And we are here to present the web series. And web series are so important because at one time we had to wait around for Hollywood to create our opportunities, but now we can use our camera, we can use our camcorder, I'm sorry, camera on our iPhones or any type of smartphones. We can use camcorders and we can create our own projects and create our own content and get it out there for the world to see. And that's why it's so important that we support web series. Yeah, I'm just building on that. Um, one of the first films I ever did, I was uh, on the RED camera. I'd never even heard of that, but I heard it's a $30,000 camera. And it was pretty amazing to see this thing work. But then on my next project, there were 35 millimeter cameras. And it kind of threw me off <laughs> thinking, okay. But then when I saw the final product, it really showed that the artist is the one who actually knows what they're doing with what they have and can make amazing things look better than feature films. So web series are definitely here to stay and are definitely making great progress with technology. So support web series. And, support them, yes. and the nominees are... Best web series. And the nominees are... Whenever I feel the quirk or nervous, I like to eat peanut butter. No free no I need to talk to you. Kurt. I am so what the hell are you wearing? Not, not it. Not. We're going back to college. When did you go to college? 1995? Okay, well, floral is... Single, Single and ancient. And, and we talk to you. So you're watching. We, we talk to you. And the winner... Oop. The winner is... Come. Come. <laughs> there we there go. Is. Not it, Desiree um, Abita. Am I pronouncing that right? Abita? Desiree couldn't be here today, so I'll accept this award on their behalf. Listen, party people, we have a great show for y'all, so I'm gonna keep it going right along. <laughs> here next to present the award for best short film, please welcome Karen Martin Waller and Stephanie Kane. Hello again. We're, we're, we're doing it again. We're partners again up here. I love it. Always. Anything I do with Karen, I love doing. I love and you especially more. Especially for this phenomenal, phenomenal organization. Yes. And the category, short films. Let's check out the nominees. Best short film. And the nominees are 22 years. What do you want me to say? The man has a contact and children's songs. I first heard that music when I was nine years old. No. Behind closed That's doors. Child. That's not the young man I raised. Rucker. The secret of joy. You can stop. And the winner for 
first short film is 22 Years, Fred Thomas and Dawn Noel. Go Dawn, go Dawn, go Dawn. Whoa, go, go Dawn. <laughs> God bless. Thank yes. you. Yay, Philly. Uh, I'm from Philly. I've, I left Philly 20 years ago. And it's so nice to come back and show my friends and, fi and family my work. Um, I want to thank my mom who always supports me. Thank you, mom. Thank you, Philly and the Philadelphia Independent Film Awards. And I want to thank my amazing director, Fred Thomas Jr., who is also from Philly. And um, we are so proud, a little short that could. Yes, thank you. Congrats, Mom. Another round of applause, please. She looks great. I noticed her, literally. I have terrible eyesight, but I noticed her right away. So. Here to present for the best cinematographer are Nakia Dillard and Miss Christina Nicole. Hey, hey, everybody. Hmm, I guess it's just me. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're probably outside trying to get a ticket. Yeah, it's probably what it is. <laughs> so, all right. So, for uh, let's see who the nominees are. Best cinematographer. Hey, hey, hey. The nominees are The Last Draw, Stolen, Hajikara Robbins, Center City, Domini Superstars, The Conversation, Hater Safar, Romance, The Hidden Sky. Pablo season. Life is too short. Anton Allen. <laughs> yeah, all right. You ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm going to let you read it. <laughs> and the winner is Conversations by Hato Safar. <laughs> all right. The conversations. All right. <laughs> the beauty of this award show is the fact that it's international. Uh, sometimes that can work against you because when you have such a large um, diaspora, I guess I could say, of films, some filmmakers are able to make it, some others are not. So. Hater Safar sends his regards. He's sorry he can't be here, but he is so proud to accept this award on the behalf of uh, his entire crew. So he thanks all. Of you.